One of the main problems after pregnancy is regaining that muscle tone in all the abs, but especially in the lower abs, or what we sometimes refer to as the mommy pouch. So often we'll get tone back in the upper abs and be missing that tone in the lower abs. The exercises in today's video will help you to target those lower abs and banish the mommy pouch. So good luck ladies, enjoy this short but very effective workout. The one area of the body that new moms complain about the most is the lower abs or what's often not so affectionately referred to as the mommy pouch. <laughs> if you had a cesarean, it might even be worse because of course those abdominal muscles were cut in the incision that went through the abdominal wall there, so they lost even more strength. There is hope you can target those lower abdominal muscles and that's what we'll focus on today. Just a few exercises that really target the lower abs which are often the culprit in that mommy pouch. So we'll come down to lying on the back. So you wanna make sure you're at least two months post cesarean before attempting these. And of course, if you feel any pain in your incision site, just skip that exercise and try the next one and try it again in a week or so. Lifting one foot then the other up into the double tabletop position, which is where both shins are parallel to the floor. Pressing your low back flat and keeping your low back pressed flat, inhaling deeply here. As you exhale, press up and out with both heels. Inhale back into tabletop, keep your low back glued to the floor. Exhale, press out. Inhale back in, exhale, press out. Inhale back in, keeping your low back glued to the floor. Inhaling in, exhaling out. The lower you go, the harder it is, but only go so low as you can keep that low back glued to the floor. Good, three more. And two, last one. Good, lowering the feet down. Relaxing that pelvic tilt for a deep breath here. That pelvic tilt is the key to most of these abdominal exercises. Then pressing your low back flat here. Bringing your fingertips up to touch your ears. Lifting one leg, then the other up to that tabletop position. We'll do a modified version of the bicycle. Activating the pelvic tilt, low back glued to the floor. Inhale deeply here, and as you exhale, bring your right elbow across to your left knee as your right leg comes straight. Inhale back to neutral, exhale, opposite side. Inhale neutral, shoulder blades stay up off the mat. Exhaling with the movement, good. Keeping those shoulder blades up if you can to keep those abs activated. So we're just coming back to tabletop there in the middle. This is a slow and controlled movement. Good. Two more. Last one. And then give your knees a little hug. Good. Excellent work. Rocking your hips side to side. We'll do some single leg extensions, pressing your low back flat, taking your left leg out straight and up above the mat, not too far down so that your low back peels up. And then your right leg straight, toes pointed, inhale deeply here. And as you exhale, reach up, grab a hold behind that right calf and pull that leg toward you for two pumps on the exhale. <laughs> Keep your shoulders up, inhale on the switch. Good. Following your breath. Four more. 
Three. Two. And last one. Good. Bend the knees. Lower your shoulders, lower your feet. Breathing deeply, strong work, excellent. Now finishing up with a full hinge. We did a modified version earlier, pressing the low back flat, lifting both feet, then pressing up with both heels. Keep your low back glued to the floor and try to take at least five deep breaths as you lower your heels down toward the floor. So it's slow and controlled, keeping that low back glued to the floor. And in fact, we only go so low as we can maintain that flat low back or that strong pelvic tilt. When you get to the point you can't go anymore, stay there for a full breath. And then bend your knees in, shift your hips, lift your heels, start again. We'll do a total of five hinges here. Again, trying to take at least five deep breaths for the full hinge. And that last breath being to the point where you feel your low back will peel up so you don't want to go any further. And then bend in and start again. Three more. Good job. Lift. <sighs> Slow and controlled. You can lift your head and shoulders to also call in those upper abs for a couple of these hinges. Remember stopping for a breath. <sighs> Two more. Good. Full breath, and in, last one, you can do it. And if you've already finished your five hinges, you're doing them too quickly, so go ahead and do another. You can do this with your feet flexed or pointed. And bend your knees in, lower the feet down. Excellent work. Pressing up to sit. And thanks so much for joining us. Oh, wait. I hope you've enjoyed these exercises that target those lower abs and help to eliminate that mommy pouch. All these exercises and more can be found in the Core Mama and Power Mama classes on babyweight.tv.